assalamu alaikum students today we will discuss phylogenetics in the previous lecture we talked about evolution uh, we discussed what is evolution how evolution takes place what's the driving force behind evolution and uh, as an example we talked uh, we discussed the work of dr peter grant and dr rosemary grant uh, uh, with reference to the new uh, lineage of bird uh, in galapagos island and today we will uh, discuss about the trees phylogenetic trees so phylogenetics is combination of two greek words phylo and genetikos phylo meaning tribe or clan and genetikos meaning genesis origin or birth so using phylogenetic trees we we actually study the birth or origin of you know different species that are living on this planet and it is perhaps the most widely used bioinformatics application and we use it to organize our knowledge of biological diversity that we observe on earth uh, you might have studied in your um, basic zoology one course if i'm not wrong uh, that how you know the uh, organisms they have been you know placed into groups uh, and uh, sometimes we uh, group them according to their physical appearance their characters uh, uh, their different characteristics okay so in phylogenetics what we do we basically use gene sequences to, to, to study the evolutionary history of species okay so a phylogenetic tree is a diagram that depicts lines of evolutionary descent of different species what do we mean by that that using this tool we can study that how different species they evolved or they originated and how these species they are linked to other species okay just like a normal tree when we see a tree we know that okay the tree started with with a seed okay so as you go up on a tree so the farther you go from the root the most distinctly related the leaves will be with the uh, with the root okay so this is how we study uh, phylogenetics in in uh, biology now why do we care about phylogenetics what's the need of using this tool uh, in in biology so to understand this um, concept uh, we will briefly discuss here some case studies we'll talk about sars disease uh, we'll talk about mers with reference to our previous lecture uh, about evolution uh, we'll we'll again you know briefly go through darwin's finches how this tool helped in identifying the lineage of the new bird and we'll also discuss about covid-19 which is the uh, disease uh, or the pandemic that is being faced people around the globe uh, we'll discuss these diseases with respect to phylogenetic trees so let's talk about severe acute respiratory syndrome or sars uh, this disease was originated in guangdong province of china back in 2002 and 2003 uh, the, the big culprit behind this disease is a virus which belong to the coronavirus family uh, of viruses and initially it was thought that the reason for the transmission of this virus is from civets to humans civet is a cat like you know animal uh, that that uh, that's being you know uh, eaten in, in some parts of china so uh, it was initially believed that the virus spread is from civets to humans uh, because in the animal market live animal market there were some civets that also showed uh, the same symptoms like uh, the sars patients they have uh, the symptoms are you know influenza like symptoms but later it was discovered that it's not the civets uh rather it's the chinese horseshoe bat that is the uh, vector for you know transmitting this virus from uh, to humans okay and uh, how did they know about this um carrier um, actually they did some phylogenetic studies and when they did phylogenetic studies they figured out that the viruses were transmitted from bats to humans 
via an intermediate host of uh, known as civets because in 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 live animal markets uh, the bats and civets they somehow came you know in 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 contact with each other and then from civets it was transmitted to humans okay so we'll uh, we'll come back to this uh, phylogenetic tree uh, later on when after we have discussed how the tree is created and how do we read this tree uh, here i'll just give you uh, an idea that it was using phylogenetic studies that uh, the scientists knew that this virus uh, the, the the main carrier of this virus is a horseshoe bat and it was transmitted uh, via an intermediate host uh, known as civets 10 years later a similar sars like disease originated in saudi arabia and it was given the name middle east respiratory syndrome or simply mers uh, the disease uh, again was uh, due to of coronavirus and the person uh, having this disease they had fever they had pneumonia and in severe cases there were respiratory failures uh, initially it was thought that this uh, virus was transmitted from bats to humans via dates that when uh, bats they infected the dates and when humans when they consumed those infected dates they got the virus but later it was shown that no it, it was not the dates actually uh, it were the they were the cam camels that were the intermediary host and uh, the humans they caught this uh, virus through uh, camels and once again uh, in this case the scientists when they constructed the uh, phylogenetic tree they figured out that MERS uh, virus was more closely related to bad coronavirus evolutionary okay uh, uh, and when they compared with different uh, viruses uh, in different animals so bad coronavirus was most closely related to MERS so it showed that MERS was basically uh, coming from bats now COVID-19 uh, is current global pandemic people they are facing this disease all over the globe and you know about this disease from where it originated and the cause of this disease uh, will not discuss COVID about COVID-19 here I would rather uh, encourage you guys to read about this COVID-19 and in the next question answer session we will discuss about this disease uh, i'll put some questions to you and then you can you know uh, help getting those answers so by uh, going through uh, the three uh, diseases three case studies we know that the virus originates from bat and it affects humans badly okay so in case of sars coronavirus the intermediate host is the civet cat in case of mers it's camels and in case of sars coronavirus 2 which is commonly known as covid 19 the intermediate host is hypoth hypothesized to be pangolins okay but one thing is common here and that is the bats these viruses uh, the 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 main carrier of this virus is bats now why bats this is an interesting question that scientists scientists uh, these days they are trying to figure out the reason why bats can such be a great host to accommodate all these viruses so if you guys can um, google it and see if you can find any information about why bats they, they are such a good host for these viruses so this is the fourth case study that we are going to briefly discuss here uh, because we have discussed this example in detail in our previous lecture about the origin of the big bird lineage in galapagos archipelago so you if you remember there was a bird who, who flew from one of the island uh, of galapagos archipelago to another island and there it mated with the resident species geospisa fortis which is a medium ground finch and it was initially thought that the new bird was actually a hybrid of Geospisa fortis and Geospisa scandens. But later, after doing the phylogenetic analysis, it was shown that no, it's the hybrid of Geospisa fortis with Geospisa conirostris. Okay, so it was 
with the help of uh, phylogenetic trees that scientists they figured out the lineage of this uh, big bird okay so this uh, he, uh, you can understand now uh, very well that how, why why do we care about phylogenetics and what's the importance of this tool uh, that is used in uh, biology biology so in the next lecture inshallah we are going to discuss how these uh, phylogenetic trees are made um, uh, different types of trees that can be made and uh, some technical terms related to phylogenetics until then allah hafiz